What if you sneezed at light speed? Imagine you're sitting in class, or on a bus, or in the middle of a NASA board meeting, and you feel it coming. The tingle in your nose. That tickle of dust or pollen. Your body gets ready for one of the most violent reflexes it can produce. A sneeze. <laughs> Normally, air shoots out of your nose and mouth at around 150 kilometers per hour. Fast enough to launch droplets a few meters across a room. Gross, but manageable. But let's say, instead of 150 kilometers per hour, your sneeze was launched at the speed of light, about 300,000 kilometers per second. Instantly, physics gets mad at you. First problem, your face. Sneezing involves ejecting about one liter of air in less than a second. If that liter of air suddenly accelerated to light speed, its mass would effectively become infinite in terms of energy. Using Einstein's famous equation, it states that energy is equal to mass multiplied by the speed of light squared. That sneeze would release about 9 times 10 to the power of 16 joules of energy. That's the same as 20 megatons of TNT. Congratulations, your sneeze is now a thermonuclear warhead. At the instant you sneeze, your body isn't just clearing dust. It's detonating an explosion roughly the size of the largest nuclear bomb ever tested. The airborne droplets would not drift politely across the room. They'd vaporize the room and the building and probably the surrounding city block. The shockwave alone would flatten everything in a several kilometer radius. So yes, you got the sneeze out. Everyone around you wishes you hadn't. Second problem, momentum. When you sneeze normally, your body doesn't fly backward because the force is tiny compared to your mass. But if you sneeze at light speed, the recoil is equal and opposite. By Newton's third law, you'd be flung backwards at about the same momentum as your sneeze, except your sneeze carried more energy than a small sun. Your body, and probably half the planet beneath you, would be launched into orbit as debris. Third problem, causality. Nothing with mass can reach light speed, so what actually happens if you try? The physics says, no. Your sneeze would never accelerate that far. Instead, as it approaches light speed, the energy required goes to infinity, which means, in practical terms, your sneeze would collapse into a catastrophic release of energy before reaching light speed. Think less ah-chu and more instant localized supernova. So the answer to what if you sneezed at light speed is simple. You wouldn't have to worry about catching a cold anymore because you, the cold virus, and everything in your zip code would be erased in a flash of nuclear fire. On the bright side, nobody would say bless you. They'd be too busy evaporating. 